Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin Ethereum report. I'll do a couple of others um, for the 16th of April. So Ethereum here, nothing really to say or do really. Um, we are on track uh, here. So from uh, wave three to wave four here, we're moving up to wave five. So we're looking at wave five up here and between wave four and wave five, we're looking for five waves in blue. So one here and two here and three and four and five for that. And then in between wave three and two, we're also looking for five waves. So that will be five waves in green of one and two and three and four and five. And also between wave two and wave three here, we're also looking for five waves of one and two and three and four and five for, for wave, th wave five here of three here. So we're going to be seeing a bit of a dance across the 2,500, which is the medium level, halfway between two major levels. And we'll see a classic trading levels pattern occur here. So uh, we're into the arrival stage here at the moment and we'll see, well, let's just draw this out here. I think there's a bit more to go in here. We'll check on that in a moment. Uh, and then wave four that can pull back 38.2% from that wave two low to the top here, 38.2% back again. And we don't need this here. So that will pull back <clears throat> there and in three waves and then have another wave five here. Because the extension's in wave three, wave one and wave five will be roughly the same. Or wave five can also be 61.8% of wave three here. But this is basically what we're looking for here. Now, this little leg in here will have three waves as well, but the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and then the ABC pattern, and then green wave four, and then we push up higher at that point. So, um, do all your buying on these lows of wave fours here. That would be the, with the go uh, in that. And then we'll push up to to 3,000 after that. Let's just go to the hourly chart and just check on this wave three here for that. I'll probably need to go into the tick chart to resolve that. But what I can see here is that from this low, we've got one and two and three here and we're coming back for four here and five. So we can have one more high to come in here for that. But I don't know how that matches up with this. I need to pull that apart here. I don't know if that's one and two and three and four and five here. Um, but either way, um, we'll leave the stop out of the way. We've got positions all over the place, all, all the way down here and here. And we've got some in here. So, yeah, look, this is basically what we're looking at uh, here. And then we'll see this uh, ABC pattern come back into here. Wave fours normally line up with each other, but sometimes it's not ever quite like that. It's sort of like, kind of like that, really. Um, but if I put them all at all at the same level then will be will be our starting point shall we say but just realize that they don't all come back normally come back depending on the strength of the trend uh, uh, here and we can put in here the a a wave b wave and c wave so we're going to be we're going to be spending some time at 2,500. So lower your expectations and focus on uh, building positions into these lows here for that. You can take profit on this leg here and move back in and all the rest of it. Um, but just remember, it's this one, this last leg. Um, it's this last leg here that we'd be looking at three, four and five coming up into that space. So that's the picture that probably won't come as high there. 
2726. I'll bring that down to 262650. That's the lower end of group two. It may even be the 2600, but our main job really is just to count five waves up through here for that. Yeah, I'll I'll need to go. I don't want to go into the tick chart now and do that um, and resolve that. Let's have a look at um, at Bitcoin, the base currency for the world. Shock horror to the banks that are asleep. It's funny, isn't it? Since the internet's come 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 on online. Um, you know, through the 90s it's just it's just repositioned everybody you know every industry gets hit so the banks and the financial system are going to get hit next governments will be hit after that um, yes yeah, it's, it's the ever-changing world Bitcoin in the bigger picture here um, I think this is fairly safe to say um, with wave one here and two here and then one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave, the fourth wave here, the fifth wave up here somewhere. Um, don't take, don't, we, we'll, we'll know what the price is once we get a little bit closer and I don't, I never really sort of worry about it too much. We could extend up to the 100,000 um, just as easily as we could finish, you know, just above the 80 and 83, 84, um, it, it doesn't really matter at this stage, to be honest. Um, we've just got to count the waves and, and move, you know, in line with that. And that's what we're doing. So we'll just go to the four hour chart and pick it up from wave two or wave four here. So wave four here and looking to go to... Um, wave one here i know that doesn't count very nicely as wave one and, and folks will struggle with that but i say have a look at ethereum and then go back and check uh check this count here again uh as one and two uh sorry as one and two here and then one and two here and then we're looking up here for this so i probably need to go to the tick chart here but one of the things i want to point out here before we cruise along on this um I haven't added any more Bitcoin since the last one, but the total's probably at 320 or something, but not that that matters at this stage. Let's get that out of the way. Um, I think I might just go back to the daily chart here for a moment. <coughs> so I just want to talk about the trading levels for a moment. So when we're talking about The trading levels we're talking about the Fibonacci sequence of one two three five and eight and then it goes to the power of ten so eight would become ten and then we can build on from that uh, point ten twenty thirty forty fifty so in this case we could go ten thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand fifty thousand eighty thousand uh, and then we go back to the power of 10, so 100,000, 200,000, and then build up from, from that point. So between each major level, there's a medium level. So in this case, it's 65. In the previous one, it would have been obvious, obviously at the 40. Um, and they're, they're important. And um, it's just good to understand understand them. And currently we have just arrived at the medium level there, 65 or 65,000. And uh, we're gonna spend some time there and, and we are, and we can call this, this here the arrival. So we're seeing the reaction here. So normally we would see quite a reaction, but because we are in wave the third wave coming up here, and then we've got wave one and two here, and going into this third wave, the reaction's not going to be big, you know, it's just, but it's still going to be time consuming. And as you can see, we have spent uh, time uh, in that, in, in, you know, at, at that um, level there. So we're going to be looking at 
in a, in a small way, we're going to be looking at this here. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, an ABC pattern, uh, and then moving up from that point. So if you take that in mind, and you if you were going to trade long, you've got a couple of options here. You can do it on the reactions here, or you can do it on the, on the safe trades on the level over here for this. But I would call these buying on the lows here as safe trades anyway because of where we are in the trend. If I didn't know where, where we were in the trend or we're at the top of a trend, well then that would be a different story. So you could buy anywhere through here, above or below. It doesn't matter. It's just a matter of holding on once you do. So um, let's just move back in again here for a moment. This is like Ethereum reaching the 25 as well. So they'll just be doing their dance together. Um, wave one and two and one and two and going up for three here. And in three, we're looking for five waves of one and two here and looking up for three here. So we'll just go to the intraday in a moment. But we still got we got these wave but we've got a lot to, lot of work to do across this level here. So this is where we're going to spend all weekend and probably next week, beginning of next week uh, as well with all of this. Just on the hourly chart uh, now for this. Um, yeah, so wave two, wave one and two here going up for wave three here, a little bit messy. Uh, one and two here. I've labeled this one and two and one and two here and then the third wave up here and the fourth and the fifth wave in here to make this wave three. So I could have that wrong and we could be at this wave three here for that. I'll, I'll know a little bit later on about that. Um, but otherwise, um, we'll be pushing up for this, this, um, this, as mentioned just so we're pushing up for this wave five here, a little bit lazy, but we'll check on that in a moment with the uh, tick chart. Um, yeah, I mean, because there's a couple of ways you can count this, but I'll just leave it like this for the time being. Um, yeah, it's not really going to matter that, that much. So, um, if you wanted to buy, then anywhere buying down here is really, if you're hodling, then this is the opportunity to, to get in here. There will be another opportunity to get back in roughly around the 63 as well, 63, 64. Um, but don't hold your breath too much because Bitcoin, as you know, can be quite strong. So um, in this move here, we're looking at, copy this for wave one here, wave two here. Copy this for wave three. And in wave three, we've got one and two and three so far. We still need four and five for that. So we still need to finish off here. We're not going to see much of a new high come into play here unless it gets extended up a little bit further. And then we're going to see this wave four come back at this point. So, yeah, you know, I mentioned this a while ago. We've got all these wave fours to, to get through to wave fours and fives. I'll just go to the tick chart just to see if it's any different uh, here as well. I'll just need to bring in some more data. Yeah, it's doing all right. The main point here, uh, uh, the takeaway here is that wherever you see a three, then it's group one. So we've got 63 here. So six, one, two, and three, and then five, of course. Um, but we're, we're after this correction, what's ha occurring now is we're finding support on the 63. And once we find support here, then, um, then we can push up higher from that point. So one and two and three and four and five at that point. It could be a B wave here, I have to say, just to point out. This could all be an A wave here, then an A and a B and five waves up here for a C wave. So uh, just be mindful of that. Be mindful of the 61.8% uh, here. We're at that already. So it'd be the 70, the square root of 61.8, the 78.6 at that point. Um, but I think we should be right. We should push up further from that point. So yeah, look, just um, in the uh, bigger picture here, just go back to the daily chart. 
not a, no problems anywhere for all of this so far. We've hit 65. I know that a lot of folks don't know, <clears throat> wouldn't think much of 65, um, but uh, if you've been with the trading levels and you know stocks well, it could be 65 cents, uh, $6.50, $16.50, uh, $6,500. Um, uh, yeah, you'll see it. A lot of stocks are around $6.50 or $65 stocks. Have a look. Go, just go and have a look at $65 stocks in, in their history and you'll start to see. Uh, um, okay, so I'll leave that at that. I do want to have a look at, um, just quickly have a look at, um, I want to have a look at Mara and um, Grayscale but while we're here, um, this is GRT here. This is at this level uh, here. There's a lot of lot of uh, cryptos that are approaching levels or are at levels, um, major levels. So some of them are just arrived and some are not quite there and some are there. And this one here just seems a little bit more advanced. But you see how it does a little dance across this level here. I won't go into all of that. But when you look at... Um, Um, say XRP, um, it's just arriving up to two here. So it's the arrival and the reaction that we're talking about here. So um, I haven't had time to work this out. I don't know if we've got another leg down here or not, but um, you know, this is the arrival, the reaction. We'll still see the first high above the level and an ABC pattern here. So there's a lot of work to be done here for this stock, you know, uh, for this uh, market. And um, a bit like it did at the previous $1. You know, it takes time here. So we just arrived here. So that there would be that arrival point just here. So there's a lot to go on here. So it just gives you a little bit of an idea of um, what to expect. And then you can kind of relax a little bit, you know. Um, ADA is the same as well. It's just hit the medium level here, 150. So it's the arrival, uh, the reaction. So... It's got a long way to go before it gets support over these levels, but any of the dips that you see in these things, they're the opportunities to buy because we know that the market's still trending higher. Um, so anyway, um, understand your major levels and your medium levels, um, uh, you know, and you, it'll help you a lot, you know, just understanding support and resistance at those levels. Um, Grayscale here, that's at, at 50. Five is the second strongest number. So we're really seeing, this is what I'd normally expect at five, be it five cents, $5, $50, 500, 5,000, 50,000, whatever. Um, but the good thing about here now is that, I mean, a lot of people would, a lot of new people look at these markets like this and think, oh no, that's correcting, that's not what I want. But, you know, trends are engineered from uh, the corrections. So, and we could say that this correction here, you know, um, is finished, really. Um, <clears throat> even if I put, you know, you could, there'd probably be a case to put wave four over here as well. Um, I haven't, uh, and I've probably done that before, but I haven't done it this time around because, because I've lined all the counts up with uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum it may or may not be the right thing to do, but there is a case for got putting wave four here, but it still leaves us with an impulse wave here. And last time we spoke, we were looking about going long above here and looking at this as a wave two. So there's probably a case for a little five waves in there and a, and a little, a, and a little uh, ABC pullback in here. So in this instance, this will start climbing back up here again now for that. Whoops, a daisy. Um, yeah, it will all be also be approaching the 65 level up here as well, which is the medium level. But I can say to you that because, because this market has done a lot of work at 50 here, spent a lot of time, this would be the, um, the accumulation process here. It, and when it goes through the distribution process here, it won't spend a lot of time here. There'll still be five waves to go up here in terms of one, two, three, four, and five here for, for, for this wave three, and then there'll be this wave four here, and then there'll be this wave five here for this. 
So it will, it will spend a bit of time at this point here and it may even come back and check it when it comes back to this wave 4 here. But it won't be, won't be a, a long time there because it's, it's already done a big correction here. Here for this. Um, you can look at um, Mara. We've been just looking at that. We talked about this being... Um, <clears throat> Last time we spoke, we talked about same count as Bitcoin as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave for wave four, and then up for one and back for two, and then up for one uh, and back for two here. So it's pulled back into its 61.8% um, mark. So it should be done and dusted now for this. So we should see that um, push up here now into wave three. Um, it's always nice to gather a little bit of evidence first as well. So in this move up here, if you can, if you can do it, what you would be looking for would be one, two, three, the smallest first five waves you can find there for that. And then you'd be looking for your, um, your little A, B and C wave back here and then you would get your larger one and two and three and four and five it would start off like that you know so finding that first five waves there <clears throat> we can bring that down now we can bring it down to the B wave here but I'll just put it on the top here for a moment uh, you can buy lower here you could buy on the level here you can always buy on the level because you can always expect a bounce but I don't I haven't pulled this apart here so I from this that would be the five waves an A wave and then an A and a B and a C from this top here but I don't know if the five waves is actually completed here I don't know if there's actually just another little rally and one more little low to come in place if that's the case don't panic because um, it will turn after that but you're looking for five waves in this section so you'll need to pull that apart it's probably done and dusted I think I can see it done and dusted as one and two here and three to that little low and then to four to there and then five to down and five down but if you pull that apart and have a closer look at that but you can always buy off the level here because it, it that you can expect a bounce you know and just keep an eye on the volume to see you've got increasing volume in this trend to the upside wave one doesn't really produce a lot of um of volume as such um it really comes in on wave three but uh yeah so that's that now riot is um completely different um, same but different also at $50 um, so that's one thing um, but it just seems to be I haven't quite got my head around it so I've labeled it a couple of different ways so I've labeled it in terms of wave three here with an A B C D and E wave here it's probably not the case the other way we could label this though is um, down here for uh, keeping clone that for a second put wave four back over here for that and then look at this as wave one here with an a wave a b wave and a c wave down here both are pretty both have got problems with with with, that, with those counts but um in a way we can see that it's like a spring being loaded in this triangle pattern so we should see this start to push up from here now one is that was a Freudian slip with that one coming down here. Um, but once again, what you need to prove is you need to prove it to yourself. And the only way I know how to do that really is with price and volume. So watching increasing volume, getting the first little five waves up here and then your ABC pattern and then going long from, you know, above that top there, so to speak. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.